well, well, well. This is interesting, isn't it? The Ms. Marvel showrunner, Bisha, or Bisha K. Ali, has gone on a massive social media purge. Um, why are we talking about this? Well, look, she's the showrunner, the head of Ms. Marvel TV show, and Twitter is a point of controversy for a few people. Uh, a few people that deal with Disney, namely James Gunn, and what happened with that. So I saw this news and I thought, this is this is interesting. This is hypocrisy. And you know, you know me here on this channel. I like to call out some, uh, like to call out some hypocrites every now and then. So let's take a look. British comedian and recently announced Ms. Marvel showrunner. FYI, they start with the fact that she's a British comedian. I'm British. Never heard of her. Never heard of her. So she's not that special. Just as an FYI. Just want you to know that. Got to know it. Recently announced Ms. Marvel showrunner Abisha K. Ali appears to have mysteriously deleted not one, not two, not ten, not even a hundred. Five thousand tweets. Five thousand! And locked all of her social media accounts prior to Disney's announcement. So, obviously she would know that at the D23 Expo they would announce the show... They would announce who's working on it, who is going to be show running it, and everything like that. And in preparation for the announcement, she has deleted 5,000 tweets and locked all of her accounts, privatized it all. Very interesting, don't you think? Doesn't really conjure up a engaged showrunner, you know? Like, whatever you guys think of The Witcher and the Witcher TV series. And this might not be the best example, but just hear me out. Whatever you guys think about that, at least the showrunner hasn't gone on lockdown and hidden everything. At least she engages with, you know, her audience. Might not be the best, but at least she engages at the very least. Bisha K. Ali. Oh, no, 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 no. You want to say hello? You can't. Uh. You're not coming in. Got a bouncer. Dorman, you're not coming in. Your name's not down. No, no, no. Like, what the... F Seriously. Ali's social media purge was discovered following the D23 Expo announcement of her involvement in the Ms. Marvel television series. As fans flocked to social media to learn more about the relatively unknown comedian... She is unknown. I don't bloody know who she is. And I know, like, oh... Mr. H doesn't know. He's clearly in the nut. I don't mean that. It's just she's touted as a British comedian. You would have thought at least British people would have heard of her. I've never heard of her. Uh, whose IMDb page lists a total of nine credits. However, upon attempting to access her various social media accounts, fans discovered that her pages had been hidden from the public. So that was her Twitter, her Instagram, and her Facebook accounts along with her personal web page. All set to private. Why? Super odd, right? Because the people that are going there, generally speaking, want to, you know, want to want to see who she is. Why not? While Ali has not publicly given a reason for this attempt to hide her internet presence from the public, fans noted that Ali had deleted a total of 5,268 tweets. Now this was, again, that's not important. The important part is, it was less than a month prior to Disney's announcement. Now this could be Disney telling Ali to delete those tweets. But whatever way you look at it, it's a massive hypocritical act. If Disney was to tell Ali to delete all these tweets, right which could be the case, then why didn't they tell James Gunn? Is that learning from James Gunn? Maybe. But that's a bit weird, isn't it? And even if it's not, even if it's Ali doing all the, the, the tweeting, deleting, tweeting, deleting, uh, the deleting of the tweetings, then surely 
Disney would take note of that and go, what are you doing, mate? What do you have to hide? I'm just asking the question. It's hypocritical to me, I think. It is currently unknown what the contents of her deleted tweets were or what prompted the mass deletion of tweets. I think we all know what prompted the deleting of the tweeting. <laughs> the, <laughs> the deleting of the tweeting was probably prompted. And the mass deletion was done by... Because there's some stuff which is on a, on a Twitter page, which people don't like. Now, a Google search, results, and a handful of archived posts have led to speculation that Ali deleted the tweets due to her social justice-based progressive beliefs and views. These include tweets defending the recent trend of political assault known as milkshaking, which, as an FYI, is assault, no matter what way you look at it. Especially the whole milkshaking thing, right? Which, if you haven't heard of it, it's really important to note. In the UK, a lot of people have been milkshaked. And that might not seem like anything massive to anyone outside of the UK. Just throwing a milkshake on someone. It is, because one, it is assault, regardless of what you look at it. But secondly, it's really, really bad, because in the UK, and you can look this up, it's, it's nothing... You know, it's nothing unusual. This is nothing uh, new to anyone who knows. But in the UK, there are massive, massive increases of acid attacks. Now, in the, U in the US, you might have mass shootings. In the UK, we have people running around with acid, throwing them on people and burning their faces and disfiguring them for life. So the fact that people are now throwing milkshakes on people, an unidentified substance that no one knows what it is, is just disgusting behaviour. And the fact that someone defends milkshaking, defends that. You are a scumbag. You are a scumbag. Because in no way is that right. Just like it wouldn't be right to walk into a... Walk up to a uh, politician with a BB gun pretending to shoot him. It's exactly the same thing. Oh, I've got a Nerf gun. But they don't know that. It's disguised as an AK. Who's going, to know, who's going to know which is which? No one knows. It still strikes mass fear into people. So the fact that she dis defends that is just horrendous. And she also had um, multiple tweets using a racist hashtag, white genocide. What? Well done, Marvel. The person you have hired to... Show run, the first Muslim superhero, advocates white genocide. What the fuck? What the fuck? And multiple interactions with her account responding in agreement to her posts with racist anti-white rhetoric. <sighs> what? What? Why are we at what? That's a bad look, isn't it? First Muslim superhero is being led by someone who apparently is anti-white. That is all kinds of stereotypes going on there, isn't it? <laughs> um, so Marvel announced Bishop K. Ali is writing Ms. Marvel for Disney+. Plus. She has now locked her Twitter account and deleted 5K tweets recently. What is she, re what is she hiding? Replies to her deleted tweets seem, seem to be bashing white people. Where there's smoke, there's fire. Bisha K. Ali had some interesting thoughts about the US in 2016. Who is the Ms. Marvel showrunner talking about here? It's just like a pit Twitter picture. Uh, I posted on Doug's everything I could find. Her Twitter and all social media was locked down previous to the announcement. Mass deletions were done. Uh, were deleted on 4%. I'm willing to bet that Disney told her to do so in an effort to avoid potential, potential embarrassment. Yeah, probably. According to archived Facebook posts, Ali also advocated for the divided states of hysteria writer and artist Howard Chaikin to change a cover to an issue of the series which depicted a young Pakistani man being lynched. So what? I have to read that again, I'm so sorry. She also advocated that a writer and artist changed a cover to an issue of the series... Okay. She also accused critics of Star Trek Discovery of being angry, racist, misogynists who are upset that Star Trek Discovery has too many women of colour in it. 
No, it's probably just because it's crap, and they apparently float around on mushrooms now. In one post, she... I don't know that. I've never watched it. I've been told that from Patreons. In one post, she asked, can we do internet conscription for men? You got to enlist. Buddy up with one troll each and teach them to keep their vile threats to themselves. Well, if you didn't lash out so much, people probably wouldn't go and find you, love. In another, she stated, I believe women can burn shit to the ground and rebuild it into the anti-capitalist utopia of science and art and compassion I think we're all striving for. Oh, my God. I've got nothing else to say on this. I think that speaks volumes, right? Ms. Marvel for Disney+. Plus. Will you be supporting it now? Let me know down below in the comments. Why did, why, why did she get hired? Super confusing. Anyway, guys, let me know. All of your thoughts. If you're new here, make sure you hit subscribe. You can stay up to date on the world of pop culture and movie news by hitting the bell notification icon. If you want to support the channel further, I have my Patreon linked down below. That really helps me out a lot more than you know, even for as little as $2 a month. And you also have access to exclusive content. Uh, there is an Amazon affiliate link and my Teespring underneath every single video. The Godzilla line of merch will be uh, being scrapped soon. There's a limited run on that and it'll be replaced with some Predator stuff. Anyway, guys, thanks so much for watching. I've been Mr. H. Take care.